All righty, we are recording tonight because there's a few people that can't be here, of course, um, and just in case the winners want to watch it all back, why the hell not? But welcome and thank you guys for joining us. It is the presentation of FU 2021's eight-week challenge. Um, this is round six of these challenges, which is super awesome. That's a um, some of you have actually done all six challenges, which is super, super impressive. And the thing that I love about that is that it shows because those that have done multiple just keep getting better, they do. which is so, so cool. We've had some brilliant transformations, so some incredible transformations, and that makes our job incredibly hard. And on that... I've decided that I think next time we need an impartial panel to judge these because it's just getting too hard. It's actually ridiculous. So I think we can uh, maybe export it to like America or something. <laughs> we'll go big and just get real high, put, high put it on, No, just put it on Fiverr.com. Pay oh, yeah. five bucks, get someone else to do who's, it. <laughs> who's the best? <laughs> uh, it is the worst. It's, it's awesome because we're so proud of what you guys have all done. But at the same time, it is so hard to judge. It, it's so challenging uh but at the end of it we're really happy with the the people we've chosen of course but we feel for a lot of you because you all look so damn awesome and honestly there's so many of you who deserve like all of you deserve special mentions uh so many of you deserve places if not equal first and things like that but unfortunately we just had to pick first second and third in both the male and female and it does make it incredibly challenging because there are so many of you that deserve it um there's so many special mentions that we would like to to point out um as well actually i'm going to share my screen first um let's do this doesn't look like it's in the right spot that's no, all right. I'll do that. And then I'll click this. All right. Can you guys see just the image? Yeah. Excellent. Cool. All right. But now I can't see all of you. Let's change this. All right. We're getting there. <laughs> uh, so we want to say a few special mentions um, tonight. And of course, first and foremost, we need to do a special shout out. To Matt. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, take no, the wins where I can. No, we need to do a special shout out to the trainers, yeah. um, the our beautiful team. Without this, without our team, um, this wouldn't be possible. Yes, I agree with you, Enza. Let's give take them a round two. of applause. Our beautiful Tanya, Ash, Caitlin, Matt, and Sheridan. <laughs> I'll chuck me in there too. Why the hell not? Um, thank you, guys. Uh, you guys always do everything that you do with a full heart and a heart to serve, a heart to give, uh, and you bring the fun and you guys make uh, all of our worlds better. So thank you guys for being in my world, but also um, filtering through our challenges as well, which is awesome. Our second special mention we need to do to our team Relentless. Oh. Now, those of you that don't know what the Relentless is, these are people that have done multiple challenges challenges back to back and then they've opted in for this optional extra it's no extra cost or anything but it's just uh you have to opt in with a, a lot of commitment and dedication so these guys uh well second last week i think it was they did a, a, a marathon but they did it over seven days um so split the kilometers were split up over them um like they've done some incredible work of like they've been big workouts. So they get uh, extra workouts to do each day. Um, they're set out the week in advance or on Sunday ready for that week coming. Uh, and they're not easy uh, workouts at no. all. We're and talking like super hard. Yeah. And the reason they do that is because they've got a grip on all the uh, calories and all the food and all that sort of stuff there. That's why they can opt for the extra challenge of the exercises. Now, if you're one of those people who maybe thinks, oh, I'd really like to give that a go, but you're still wrestling with the calories and getting them in check, then I wouldn't suggest you go and do it because you, you're still not there. These guys have a general grip. They got the consistent, they understand it. They don't overcomplicate it. And then the relentless becomes this amazing uh, extra for them to challenge themselves to get fitter, healthier and stronger. And it's like non-negotiable exercise too, but I'm talking like it's, you know, Thursday, go for a 10K run. Like it's not just, oh, pop out the back 
back and do a quick five minutes. It's Warm like up for 15 minutes and then run eight Ks. <laughs> yeah, like nut stuff. So a big round of applause to our yeah, team Relentless. Legends. I think there was nine of them this time. Yeah. Uh, so a huge congratulations to you guys because you, especially when life opened back up for us as well, um, mm. even though life changed, you guys were you guys were relentless. And that's what it's all about, which is super, super awesome. Um, next special mentions. Do you have any other that we, oh, yes, we have uh, two beautiful ladies, women, women, let's call you women. Uh, <laughs> I'm not confused with what you are, just what, what the best way to approach it is. Uh, two beautiful women that actually did a fair portion of this challenge in hotel quarantine. Oh, yeah. Now, that means they were given one tiny room to exercise, to eat their calories, to do all of that. So Madeline Smith and Emily Green, we want to give you guys wow. a big uh, round of applause because most people would just Netflix and chill and do absolutely nothing and probably walk out of there a little tubbier than what they walked in. Uh, <laughs> and Madeline organized to get um, a treadmill, uh, which is awesome. Um, and Emily got um, mum to deliver dumbbells and things like that so she can continue on, which is so, so cool. So we are super proud of you guys because most yeah. people would find every reason um, to not exercise in hotel quarantine because that is pretty cool. Um, so super, super proud of you all. But so many of you overcame so many challenges and adversaries and injuries and things like that. Um, so And you guys found a way to make things work. And for some of you, it wasn't a smooth Ride. It was quite a rocky ride, but the cool thing is, is you finished. And there's so much in finishing, even more than how you look and feel, even more than the results and the transformation that you've received. Finishing something that you set out to start just builds trust with yourself. And when you trust yourself, you go and do what you say you're going to do. So if you have those bigger goals and those dreams and that kind of thing, you can make those happen because you're just now building that muscle within yourself of making shit happen. So we want to say a big congratulations to you guys as well just at the very least for finishing and i want to say a big congratulations to sheridan she did that without breathing that all that last <laughs> phrasing cheapers oh, yeah that was good wasn't it i'm pretty good like on a roll if I, thank you Nick, thank you if only this breathing ability uh was uh transferable to swimming and uh, <laughs> i could breathe this well underwater <laughs> it doesn't happen <laughs> <laughs> I had something else to say Sorry. there, but I've totally lost it. No, nah, that's all right. Let's yeah. just get into it. Oh, I'm nervous. I get nervous at this point. Oh, that's why right. I also wanted to say a big congratulations to all of you guys uh, for putting up with our shit talking and our banter on the boot camp. So mm. you got through those. So I'm very, very proud of you <laughs> as well. Um, all right. Let's see if this is going to work. I had to put, oh yeah, here we go. I had to put quite a few screens in there so you couldn't see it when I first shared it. Um, so I just have to click, click, click. All right, we are going to start off with the lads first. Now, I haven't actually got my phone on me, so I can't read out all the prizes and what, what there is. But, but there's we, some. <laughs> and they're great. You'll love them. We do have a prize pool of um, around $5,000, which is incredible. So there's $1,000 cash for the winners. Um, there's PT. There's um, merch merch is all of it there's some some really cool stuff in there so we will be in touch with you afterwards to tell you exactly what you've won uh, and to also congratulate you uh, so we are going to start off with the lads and we're going to start off at third place if i've done this correctly let's let's see all right we need a drum roll we need a like a, a silent drum roll so it looks like this in third place we have phil elmsley mr consistent this guy has not missed a beat. He seriously, Phil, every time we look at your pictures, they are just so consistently amazing. And you just had to be given this position of third today because um, we were just sitting You've there going, it. yeah, you definitely have. It's just like, I've seen you in the gym getting stronger, fitter, you, you know, you lead from the front. You're not ideally bang on according to Kirst about your calories. She <laughs> does tell us about those things. However, <laughs> clearly you've got them in check because you look phenomenal. Um, so well done, legend. Hey, there, there he is. is. Good well done, buddy. Third place. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> he's got oh, the, he's he's got the, the dumbbells. Hey, he's getting a pump on ready to claim the trophy. <laughs> I oh. like it. Well done, good sir. You totally deserve all of mm. that. Uh, and uh, we also want to do a special mention to Kirsty, who feeds you. So she does well too. So, <laughs> all right, second place. <laughs> we need to get 
get some sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Levi Dixon. Now, okay, this go. guy won our last challenge and he's carrying it on, which is incredible. This guy has dropped some serious kilos, some yeah. serious weight. He looks amazing. The abs are popping. The gun show, the shoulders, like just He's, well done, legend. He's running faster than he's ever run before. Yes. He ran as fast as ever 5K. He's back playing footy, but really loving and enjoying it and just kicking goals. So well done, legend. Second well place. Well done. All right. And first place, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for the winner. Oh, and the winner is Adam Thorne. Oh, this guy has trimmed down that tummy. We haven't actually got the before uh, and afters there. Sorry, my bad. Very I've dramatic. Only, I've only got the afters. Uh, this guy is uh, he's looking He's a good. beer drinker. He's a beer drinker. Um, but this guy is strong. And not only has he got stronger in this challenge, he's also cut down um, an incredible amount of body fat. He's looking awesome. We are super proud of you, legend. Uh, you are the lucky winner. No, not the lucky winner. The world earned well Deserve. deserving winner of the eight week challenge well done, legend. good job all right he is not here with us tonight no he's not that's all right we will we'll be keep sure the money. to <laughs> unlucky that's part of it take a tip mm. <laughs> all right the ladies now you girls make it so hard. <laughs> we say this every time, but uh, typically speaking, there's a lot more females in our challenges than there are men. Um, there's so many of you that deserve to be mentioned in the next three places, um, but unfortunately we have to get nitty gritty and, and like, hone it right down um, but we just want to say you guys are awesome and thank you all for trying so hard um, and just do an awesome job. So. Without further ado, third place. Drum roll, please, Matt. Am I doing it like you do it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> My hat. Third place, Nat Strato. She has, that tummy has come has come down so, so far. She looks amazing. She's feeling fitter. She's feeling stronger. Um, the poor thing is actually well. a little bit under the weather at the moment. Uh, she's uh, in quarantine at home, uh, but I know that she'll be celebrating tonight. Um, and the cool thing with that is she's really stepped up her exercise. She's been really consistent in mm. uh, attending her boot camps. Uh, she doesn't miss a beat with her PT. She may rock up 10 to 15 minutes late, but she doesn't ever miss it. <laughs> she's consistent with that too. Uh, she, she's she took up running uh, with her husband, Leo, which is really quite cool. So she's just taken on a new leaf at, at the back end of this year. So well done, Nat Stratos. Very proud of you. Smashed All right, it. second place. <laughs> Cara Fenny! Yeah. Now, super, Phenomenal. super awesome for this one. She has just had her first baby, so she's bounced back after giving birth. Not only that, but she's also just been the first female to ever enter the Hundy Club, which is a female that can bench press 100 kilos, T-bar row 100 kilos, squat 100 kilos, and deadlift 100 kilos. You well are. Done. And she did all that while dropping all of this weight. We are so proud of you, and I know Evelyn's uh, proud of you too. Uh, and I know that it wasn't all smooth sailing for you. You had some tough days, but you never gave up, and we are so proud of you. Well done. You so deserve this. You look amazing. Uh, you're strong. You're awesome. We are so proud of you. Well done, Cara. Oh, you good thing. Now, the, the other thing with Cara too is only just a few short years ago she had back surgery too. So not major only has surgery. she gone – yeah, major back surgery. Not only has she um, – um, just had a bub, bub as well. Uh, she's and got stronger. She's also overcome those injuries as well. So we are so proud of you because you ne you never stop. Woo! All right, first place. Woo and the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, the female winner of our eight week challenge is Amelia Pollard. <laughs> Not bad, imagine. This girl had look, look at her. There she is. 
to Rogie. Uh, hey, Rogan. <laughs> you have just shredded, my dear. She is the definition of transformed. Um, you can see not only in her physical form, but also her, uh, you can see in her body language that she's a, she's fully transformed. And we are so proud of you because it's so good to, to see you do this and bounce right back. Um, Amelia's had a really tough, tough year, um, but we're proud of you. You totally deserve that. Your legs are on fire. The abs are popping. Like the tan just, is sharp. <laughs> yeah. Tanned out tan. and ready. And she also just had her graduation, which is awesome. So we're not sure if you got the tan for the photo or the graduation, but we approve of both. <laughs> <laughs> and we are super, super proud of you. You look incredible. Um, Mads just wrote, go, so good, Millsy. Good job. Well, well done. All right. We also have another special award, and this is the Coaches Award. Now, this one is uh, has been awarded in the past to Team Elmsley, Team Van Summeren, uh, Erin Cartwright. Don't forget, don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you, Erin. We will uh, be organising dinner very, very soon. Um, uh, this one, uh, the the award, it comes in the form of uh, dinner with us, <laughs> uh, but it, it's on us. Now, the Coaches Award goes to someone who totally deserves all of those places. Um, they show up, they're supportive, they're, they're encouraging, they're... They just put everything into action and um, and quite often they've just missed out on being awarded like first, second or third, um, but they totally deserve a special mention. Mm. Um, so I think you guys will all agree with me when I award this coach's award because she's awesome. She is Steph Chad. Go. Now, Steph Chad, uh, she had a goal at the start of this challenge alone uh, to fit into her uh, pre-wedding shorts. I think they were her honeymoon shorts, actually. Um, she, I'm pretty sure they are fully done up now. That She couldn't wow. even get them on at the start. Uh, last time we spoke, they were almost fully done up. Uh, and I don't even think her photos do her justice because if you see her in no. the flesh, you can see just how tiny she she is she has leaned so far out, like looking amazing but Steph you show up you're relentless she is part of our team relentless as well uh, she'll quite often be posting her relentless stuff at, after like getting up at 5 a.m to go and do a 10k run or whatever craziness Matt has set um, so you are so deserving of this uh, and well done my sweet we're really really proud of you um the other cool thing is we had so many firsts in this challenge. We had uh, first-time marathon runners, first-time half-marathon runners. We had fastest 5K runners. We So, so many people getting to the running, which is awesome. Uh, we had people getting strength goals, leaning right down, um, uh, people entering in uh, events and, and smashing them. We had triathlons. We had all of that, and, and that just... You don't understand how much that inspires us, but also what you do inspires other people too. So uh, we just want to say, first of all, uh, uh, we're really, really proud of you. Our team Stratos has just logged in. Uh, what you would have met, missed, guys, is that Nat, you actually pay, placed third, my dear. Well, well <laughs> done. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, so we just want to say a huge thank you. Um, now, it is, of course, Christmas time. In your last uh, email, not the one that went out today, but the one that went out on Sunday. We gave you a bit of insight of how to attack the holiday period, the Christmas period, and what to do with your food and your exercise and all of that kind of thing. There's an IQ session on it. If you have any questions, please reach out. That's what we're here to do. We're here to help. Um, the next uh, the next eight-week challenge, round seven, is taking off on the 28th of January. That kind of gives us enough time to get through the, the holiday period and back into when this is just about when school takes back off as well. Mm -hmm. um, there is an early bird special at the moment and there's also um, some pretty sweet prizes up for grabs if you refer people um, or pay it forward as well uh, this could be your gift of giving it is Christmas season so if you would like to get someone else involved in this um, it could be a perfect Christmas gift why the hell not um, but the next challenge we're pretty excited we've got some cool upgrades um, uh, would you like to share some of those upgrades no okay we, we won't, won't. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but we're excited. We're, uh, one thing that we're pretty committed to at FBFM is always becoming uh, better. And one of the things you'll hear us say quite often is go one more. So uh, we really want to make sure the next one is one more up from here. Um, if you've, you're have you on the fence of whether you should do another challenge or not, um, I think you should look at people like Mick Webb, Kirsty Elmsley, Steph. Phil Elmsley, Steph, all those guys that the Van Summerins, those guys that do back-to-back -back challenges just from this time last year to now you'll see they're completely different people and they just keep getting better and better and better and the beauty of a challenge is it's just a really good focus time to really hone in and and sharpen your tool belt um and be around like-minded people that are on the same journey so if you weren't mentioned tonight it wasn't because you don't deserve it um it is the hardest job for us to do. But I want to say thank you once again for putting up with all my words, <laughs> uh, but all the achievements that you guys made for making it happen. Uh, Susan couldn't do the boot camps, but she made the four minute workouts work. So we are super proud of you. She's all well the done, way Susan. up in uh, uh, Harvey Bay, I think you are, aren't you? Northern Queensland. Yep. So she's hot up there too. Uh, <laughs> super, super proud of you. But as always, thank you guys so much. Really proud of you. Congratulations to our winners you guys totally deserve it um have a very very merry christmas it's one of our favorite times of year so please go and spend beautiful time with your family and your loved ones uh, we miss you the 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 studio is closed for our annual two-week uh christmas break back on tuesday the 4th of jan uh, however those um boot camps are running through the online stuff is running through um, but we are proud of you we love you we thank you Thank you so much for your love and support through 2021 because it's been quite the year. Uh, and we look forward to 2022 being the healthiest, fittest, strongest and best year yet. Oh. Thank you, legends. Mic drop. That's us. Out. <laughs> I needed that to like close down right there, but it, it. it didn't quite happen. <laughs> oh, it's all good now because I'm still talking. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We love you. Have a good <laughs> night. Ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> I still can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and